Are you Skunk Boy? Yeah, what's going on? Hey, what are you doing? Put this hat on. Come on, come with Who me. Who are you? Are you getting married? I like the dress. You and me both. Quick, come on! Wait, the chapel? I'm not ready to get married. Don't worry about that. It's all part of a plan. Oh no, it's Franklin Martyr behind this. Oh, you've got to propose to me. Now! Will you... will you marry me? Yeah, quick, get in here. And here they are. The happy couple. We are gathered here today to formalise the marriage of Daisy Richter and Skunk Boy. And Skunk Boy. A joyous time for one and all. Are you sure about this? Totally, don't worry. Now, if anyone can show just cause why this couple cannot lawfully be joined together in holy matrimony, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. Nobody? Nobody has any objection? It's your last chance now. No. No objections. Very well. Going. Going. Going two and a half. Going two and three quarters. Going two and seven eighths. Go on. I now pronounce... Stop the wedding. What is the meaning of this? Skunk boy can't marry today because he has an exclusive ticket to bachelor camp. Franklin, I knew you were behind this. Skunk boy, our carriage awaits. Giddy up. Where's this carriage from? What's this all about? I nearly got married in there. I did much the same about half an hour ago. Sorry, this is all a bit of a rush. Wait, did we both nearly get married? For real? Where did you find the women? Mine was a bored widow. Yours was a sweet local girl who had loved you from afar. Oh. Which is the proper way to love the aromatic. Long story short, we're going undercover. Where? Why? I don't know where. And to chase up the recent disappearance of eligible bachelors, they're sent away to be improved. Some come back changed. Others simply disappear. And nobody knows where they go. Listen, we don't have long. You may already be able to smell knockout gas. Gas? We've got to get out. The doors are locked. Listen to me, skunk boy. They're going to do all they can to break us, to brainwash us clean and dirty. Don't try to fight it. Just hold on tight to something important, something at the very core of you. Don't let them take who you are. And what about you? I will be undercover, not as Franklin Martyr, but as Martin Frangel. That gas is going to my head. I do hope it isn't poison. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't. Skunk boy. Skunk boy. I like your new earpiece. Thanks. It helps me hear. He's the bachelor with a love you can't ignore. Sings the holy dove above. He's the only one you'll love. Being single's tough for this bachelor of love. So we've got him 50 days to see if he can make some mates. You may roam, but his love will always find you. You'll come home, for his loving letters will remind you. He's the bachelor, with a love you can't ignore. Sings the holy dove above, he's the only one you'll love. Wake them up, Buttercup. Who is this specimen? I've never smelled a bachelor like him. (laughs) Not even a dead one. Positively putrid. I guess it goes with his dubs. I'm... I'm Skunk Boy. And the picture is complete. No, I don't care what your name was. From here on, you're... Thomas, I think. Thomas Denby. My name is Skunk Boy. Uh, uh, Ah-ah-ah! That round name has passed your lips for the last time. Repeat after me. Thomas Denby. Thomas Denby? We can think about a middle name later if you like. I'm not a tyrant. But we really are going to have our work cut out for you, Thomas. May I call you Tom? No, scratch that. Let's wait for Thomas to bed in first. What you need is a shower bath, a suit in a little blue check, and some shiny, shiny shoes. Black. I made these clothes myself. They're comfy. Trust me, Thomas. You don't know comfort until you've had something well-tailored. I'll admit your skunk-like garb does rather much suit you. But that is going to change. Hmm. And how about this other one? 
Oh, yes. My name is Martin Frankel. You're a step behind us, Franklin Martyr. We know exactly who you are. You can call yourself Martin if you wish, but don't think you're fooling anyone. It seems my reputation casts a long shadow. Hmm, about that. Don't imagine you'll be able to seduce the guards. You'll find they're immune to your charms, such as they are. Oh, I never seduce anybody. I wouldn't need to. I simply let women fall into my arms like coconuts on a windy day. No siree. I know the difference between admin and foreplay. And a good husband should be proficient at both. That's what you're here to become. Well, perhaps you thought you were here to infiltrate and spy. But we will mould you into model men. Allow me to introduce myself. I am J. Tiffany Theophilus, and it is my honour to welcome you, Thomas and Franklin, to Husband Town. I hope you enjoyed your shower bath. Take as many towels as you need and follow me. We've a whole new wardrobe available for you. You don't look very comfortable, Tom. I don't like this. I'm happy to play along and become a better husband, but my name is Skunk Boy. I'll be wanting my hoodie back. Oh, that? That's burned already. Hmm. Suits, but no hats, I think. People tend to clutch onto hats if they receive them too early. Let's start with a well-cut dress shirt. I think your complexion might favour an off-white. Maybe a light moss? Do you know? You've ruddy cheeks. Is there a mirror around here? There's one just in here, but I'll let you get changed in private. If you need me, you'll find I'm always just behind the curtain. Where did the guards take Franklin? Right at the moment. I think he's being debriefed. I suspect his shoes are full of knives and gadgets and so forth. He is so full of lies, but I trust you to be honest. Did you bring any fancy equipment we ought to be aware of? My earpiece is... An accessibility aid, yes. My uncle had one similar. In fact, he had two. I could only afford the one, but it's all I need. I like you, Thomas. When we pulled you from your gassy carriage, I feared the worst. But you're brimming full of potential. Mr. Franklin Martyr, I've never heard of you, but I'm told I mustn't underestimate you. Ought I to have heard of you? Not unless you like the circus. Oh, you're a clown. I was, but I got better. And what do you do here in this husband camp? Do you know they nearly called it Camp Husband and had to be set straight? But that's what we do here. We take the misshapen bones of manhood and break them and set them in splints. They can grow well and right. Let me guess. You drug us and baffle us, and when you have us quite a gog, you sit us down in class to listen and obey. You make it sound so dull. Pardon me if I cut class. I was a born skyver. You're embarrassing yourself. We have devised a Franklin Martyr-shaped syllabus, which I believe will command your full attention. Since you're teaching marital duties, will there be sex education? If so, I could be the instructor you never knew you needed. It may surprise you to learn that is not on the curriculum. And why not? It's a husband's first duty, and I can promise you we all have room for improvement. You think you're ready-made, don't you? You think you're already the peak of masculinity. Let's just say I've never heard any complaints. We are going to break you, Franklin. Going to break your heart, your mind, and your back. Tear you down and build you up. And you will be ashamed of what you have been. And then you will forget. I rather think you'll find... You weren't listening. We're going to break your back, Franklin. Guards, kick this man while he's down. Nothing on the face or hands. I have a class to instruct. You utter carbuncle. Don't lose your cool, Franklin. It's all you've got. This won't work. Keep this up until dinner time. And whatever you do, don't let him have the last word. Ah, Dr. Pagliacci. I trust you showed Franklin the ropes. How's the lad? Hmm. He'll be the easy one. Name him Thomas. Work him. Raise him. Make him worthy of a side parting. I'll take Franklin from here. Welcome, bachelors, to Husbandry 101. Now, what is a good 
husband. Feel free to shout out whatever comes to mind. Wise. Wise. That's good. Attentive and handsome. If possible, yes, though we can't guarantee the latter. Any ideas, Thomas? Um, supportive? Supportive, absolutely. You might say a good egg. Jim, your hand is up. Uh, a gentleman. Take that word out of your mouth. There are no gentlemen. Anyone who claims to be one, that is a warning sign. Mark my word, they are a cad, a bounder, saturated with pride. We don't tolerate gentlemen here. Even as an aspiration, the term has been poisoned. Try again, Jim. Good. 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 And while we're at it, allow me to rule out another word, one which does far more harm than good. There is no such thing as a lady. We are here to court women, fiancés, brides and wives, not ladies. Lady is a euphemism. Why? Because you can say a man does a poo, a woman does a poo, a person, a child, boy or girl does a poo. But nobody ever says, that lady did a poo. The word is divorced from reality and a good husband is not divorced from reality, not at all. That's exactly what Franklin Martyr says about the word lady. Well, of course. Perhaps there's a lesson in that. We're really all on the same side. I'm not here to teach you falsehood or lead you astray. We are imparting real advice here. Nothing tricksy. Tom, you're looking confused. Did you perhaps think we were enemies of some kind? No. You'll soon find we're all singing from the same hymn sheet. Which reminds me, there are singing lessons available. It's a matter of confidence, really. One ought at least to have a good grounding. Franklin, you weren't in my classes. I think they have something else in mind for me. Looks like we're bunked together, SB. I told you, don't call me that. It's... it's Thomas. That's what they said. Good to play along. I attempted more a sort of counterpoint, and they didn't care for it. I'm taking it seriously. I don't like these new cold and tidy clothes, and I don't like what I feel and smell like now. But I'm taking this seriously. It's what they said to do, and it's what you said. They seem to have a lot in common with you. Why did you bring me here? I needed someone I could trust. You seemed a good fit for the eligible bachelor. And, well, you seem to have room for improvement. Is this really an undercover adventure? Or is this just a ploy to improve me and stop me being who I was? No. No, this is going to be a desperate adventure. This isn't an intervention. I like you as skunk boy. Your new style is, well... You wear it well, but it's not who you are. They'll be listening in on our conversations. They wouldn't want you questioning anything. You're right. Do you fancy the top bunk? I'm not a little child. That isn't why I'm offering it. It's just my old bones are unusually weary. All right, I'll take the top bunk. You sleep down here. Oh, heck. Franklin, what did they do to you? Six of the worst. I lost count after that. But Franklin Martin knows how to take a beating. Good morning, Franklin. Howdy doody, J. Tiffany Theophilus. What are you subjecting me to today? There really is no need to teach me stamina. I can go all night if needs be. Twelve days, three attempted break-ins that I know of, and one escape attempt. Though I think that was just to throw us off the real scent. You haven't quite found your niche yet, but you will. You'll break into scrambles and be reformed like a phoenix egg. Who is behind Husband Town? I understand the funding tends to come most often from the mother of the bride. We have a way of taking away shame. But whose project is this? Well, today, Franco, you are my project. But I intend to place you in the way of somebody more hands-on. Look through this window. I know that man. Yes, you do. Phillips. Harry Phillips. What's wrong with him? I think it all just got to him after a while. Let's unlock the door and find out. Franklin. Franklin Barter. I've been here so long. They were going to make a man of me, but I couldn't pass the tests. 
I was trying to see to discover something. What did you find out? There's no way out. You give them what they want, or you're trapped here forever. Aren't we forgetting something? Or are sold as slaves. Not that, Harry. Duh. Duh. There you go, chaps. I know you favor guns, but any real husband is able to conduct a mace fight to the death. Wives really go for that kind of thing. I'm not fighting you, Harry. Yes, you are. Phillips can win his freedom one of two ways. Can he best the best? Or thumbs down? Franklin, I'm fighting. If I can get out, I will. If you have the chance, you better kill me. Because I won't bloody hesitate. I don't need telling twice. Don't try anything clever. There's an eye in the sky. And I'd hate to see the both of you slain. Grab a weapon. The fight starts when I say the word... Sandwich. Sandwich. Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! Stay back. There's a chance we can both get out of this. We only need to take a leap of faith. Sorry, J. Tiffany. It's not you. It's me. Durat the man. He's gone through a window. Guards, level C alert. Ugh, how embarrassing. We'll let him run around and get that energy out. Did I win? Did I win? Does that count as a win? Sorry, Harry. You're just not husband material. I'm thinking of buying a house. You as well. Perhaps we'll be neighbours. That would be fun. I need somewhere for my wife and five young'uns. If I was on my own, I'd find a fixer-upper. But I want somewhere that won't want too much work. My wife and I are unencumbered for the moment, so I have a bit more freedom. I'm looking for somewhere with a golf course. Hey... Dr. Pagliacci said no golf conversations. But I'm a businessman. Are you? I will be, with a business wife, if I can get one. Look, I'm sure you can get a business wife, but Dr. P said no golf. It's boorish. All right. I'm wanting a home with a pool and a caravan for weekends away. You don't think a caravan would bring the neighbourhood down? That's a little blunt, Tom, don't you think? Good conversations, everyone. Now change partners. This time try to mention having a gun, if you can slip it in. Okay. Psst. Psst. Skunk boy. I'm in the middle of conversation class. Yes, yes, but I brought you a present. This ought to put a skunk among the pigeons. A skunk? Where did you find that? Sniffing around an old mulberry bush. I'm afraid it may have sprayed me a little, but... Ugh, that smell. I don't like actual skunks that much. Playing with windows, Thomas. Oh, yucky da. What a foul aroma. Ha! Huh. Franklin Martyr. Dr. Pagliacci, we meet again. Yes, yeah, several times a day at this point. You're potentially in a deal of trouble. But I don't want conflict. Tell you what, I'll open a door for you. Take a shower and a shave, and we'll see you at dinner time and say no more about it. Really? Only because you're sparking my pity. It smells to me as if the two of you have changed places, which is much to Tom's credit. And leave that skunk outside. Clint, open the door. Tom, if I might have a word. I'm sorry. Don't be. Be confident. Wives only want apologies when they come from the heart. And you're hardly to blame in all this. Your old friend was a powerful eccentric who seems to have reached the end of his cool. A pity, really. But let's not talk about him. Let's talk about you, Tom. What do you want to be? Mm, loyal. I want to be loyal. Ha! Huh. Now, are you just saying what you think I want to hear? If I was, I'd say I want to be a leader. Good trait for good government jobs. And we do like to see you in good government jobs. You've really been paying attention. Someone like you could go far if we can trust you. You know, tomorrow I think you might meet somebody new. Wear something nice. Think of this as an opportunity for... Advancement.
Lights out in five minutes, chap. So I broke my way out, made them hunt all over, and scoped out a good deal of land. And you'll never guess what I concocted while I was out there. You should have stayed outside. You shouldn't have come back in. You're putting me in danger. I'm trying to advance. Are you speaking as Thomas Denby or a skunk boy? Stop it. You said and they said to take this seriously. I could make a life for myself. The question remains, who's it all for? Who's behind it? If you stopped fighting, you might find out. And or die trying. Did Dr Pagliacci say anything about big wife? What? Just a pair of words I heard on the wind during my excursion. That husband town is in the pocket of big wife. Keep that up and I'm calling J. Tiffany Theophilus in here to take you away. Get a hold of yourself, skunk boy! I'm Thomas. I've renounced and repudiated all skunks, all possums, rabbits and monotremata. Be calm yourself, lad! Let me tell you about an animal you haven't sworn off. Uh? Remember my horse. Remember Brandy of the Damned. Flamehead. Yes, a beautiful mane, the colour of rust in the sun. Well, she has a partner these days, a dear friend, Lovage the Donkey. We might have ridden them together if times had been other than they are. I'd like to see Brandy again. I'm quite sure it's mutual. Hold on tight, friend. Stop it. And when the devil has you by the balls, give him both barrels. Tiffany! J. Tiffany Theophilus! Nothing wrong, Tom? Surely you can settle it like men. Take him away. Get this man out of my sight. I'm just trying to build a good life for myself and he's undermining everything. Your wish is... My command. I've seen better drag of the old Tumney Hapney. And the hands were rougher. <laughs> what? Not going to keep me in a dungeon? I wouldn't want to waste good food and water. Wasting water is a myth. When we have time, I'll tell you about a little something named the water cycle. And if you ever find yourself dying in a desert, you might change your tune. Thankfully for you... You're going to die in an arena in just a few minutes. This isn't where I fought Phillips. Hmm, that was a foolish location for a fight. This is a place better suited. I hear you were rather handy with a mace, so we thought perhaps knives. These aren't knives. No, Tom gets knives, you get trowel. Where is he? He's waiting for you in the arena. There is no escape, except for him. If you're generous and perish, go to him. Go and duke it out, Franklin. Well now, skunk boy, I suppose this is where I'll find out whether I still have an ace up my sleeve. Because there is meant to be a... Fight to the bitter death. It's the only way up. For me, the only way to move on. To advance. I'd wish you luck, but... Ah! First blood to me. They only give me trowels, I'm afraid, and I don't think... Ah! SB! They taught us knife-throwing. I am sorry, Franklin. I get out! Ah! Your master's underestimated my powers of Kung Fang Fu. While Skunk Boy is in my grip, he can't move. Now I have the knives. What do you say, I in the sky? Do I kill him? Your protege? Let's see if he makes the cut. Kill him. See if I can. He won't do it. He's all washed up. <gasps> Dr. Pagliacci. No. Skunk boy, run. You weren't the only one who learned to throw knives. I don't need to run. I can beat you and be my own man. Ah! Oh. He's dead. No, he isn't. Not yet. I don't mean Franklin Martyr. I mean Dr. Pagliacci. Dr. Pagliacci. Dr. Pagliacci. Let him in. Congratulations, Mr. Denby. Not many reach my door. Only the brave, the strong, the stout-hearted. The bachelors ready to work, ready to learn, and so forth. When this camp began, I honestly believed in the power of reform, that any man could be made into an eligible bachelor. The number one way to improve governance, to make people happier, to strengthen the law, to curb divorce, was to make better husbands. They do it with horses and it works, but the attrition rate among bachelors is a deep disappointment to me. But you, Tom, you're the cream of the crop. Come, join me in the den. 
A cigar? I rolled these myself. No, thank you. Are you big wife? Me? No, merely a flame of her wild fire. Big wife is not here. Husband camp is no place for women. I'm just... You're looking at me with perhaps a flicker of recognition. I've seen you on posters. The missing admiral. Franklin Martyr was hunting for you. Oh, really? I hadn't taken him for a predator. I don't think he was going to kill you. I thought he was trying to save you. But I don't need to be saved. Maybe I got it wrong. Trust your instincts. I went into hiding. From here I can stack the admirality with good men. The sharp. The employable, the loyal, and they'll never see it coming. I've heard the wedding that brought you here was a sham, that you came here undercover to expose or shut down. Disappearances. But you, you faked your own wedding, the most sacred moment in a person's life, and you made it a mockery. Can I really trust you to have changed your stripes? What? What's that smell? It's not me. So I'm guessing it... Bimram! I think something's died in the air vents. Bimram! Bimram is probably unconscious. And the smell is... <laughs> seven or eight skunks, and they're all of them making woofy. You're from the Admiralty! I'm really not. And neither am I. Admiral Misney, I presume. And my name's Franklin Martyr. Why have you stunk up my home like this? I've been trying to save your life for near enough two years, and all along you were meddling with mines and tormenting poor innocent men whose only crime was to have a deficit of competence and personality. I'll say it if nobody else will. I'm disappointed. Disappointed in you. No, you don't. People may condemn me. Stand against me. Find my ideas too bold, too progressive, too compassionate. Poppycock! Like war. I may shake you. I may leave you stunned and speechless. But I am no disappointment. I am the Admiral Misney. My bachelors are all now husbands in high positions. They are primed and ready to strike. <laughs> you cannot stop them. No, but we can stop you. We can tear down husband camp and save the bachelors. All of them. Don't try it. The moment Franklin popped out of his hiding hole, I activated a secret transmitter in my shoe. The place will be surrounded. And the moment I saw your shoe, I activated a jamming signal. Who do you suppose invented such shoes? You were searched top to toe when you arrived. A secret agent knows how to secrete things. You're outnumbered and outdated, Admiral. I have two guns and you have none. You nearly had me. Yesterday and today, you nearly brought me around to your way of doing things. I was this close to obedience and belief. But Franklin told me to hold tight onto one thing. Blast you! Your loyalty to him! No. We're more sort of occasional friends. I wasn't holding on to my loyalty. I was holding on to my stench. We washed that stench right out of you. I've been saving it up. It was never about hygiene. It was nature. And your bachelor husbandry is the enemy of nature. Franklin, cover your nose. Cover it up. Roger! No! I'm Skunk Boy. <laughs> smell! I can't bear it! What are you? <laughs> it's like Auntie always said. Better out than in. Head for the horses. I certainly wasn't expecting that. I feel sick. We all have primal abilities. Nothing to shout about. Was it gas? Did you kill the Admiral? There was no gas involved. Just smell. He smelt an aroma too strong for a human to bear. A pecan curry for the nose, a thousandfold. And look what I found during my outdoor excursion. My top. I thought they burned our clothes. It turns out, with a certain level of grime and grunge, something simply cannot burn. I always thought it was like armour. Do you still need it? Or are you Thomas the Splendid Fellow now? I've changed, but I'm still me. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Horse noises. I have no idea where we are. Any thoughts on which way to point the horses? The Admiral had a map on his wall, but I didn't recognise it. My tummy says to go north. After the bachelor affair, I trust your innards implicitly. North it is, back to the civilised west. I've just remembered. I was about to get married. Do you suppose she's still waiting for me, back at the chapel? Daisy something. 
Got to be pretty frustrated by now. I think she understood the situation. I'd rather not marry her. We never really met. Husband Camp didn't sway you in that direction? I'm probably more competent now. Better at doing things. But I'm still skunk boy. Not ready to be skunk husband any time soon. Good choice. I admire marriage, but it should always be the last resort. You're not going to marry your bride then? You know me. I find a woman in every bed. But that's the act of love. It's throwaway, the work of mere moments. But marriage, that's something eternal. The practice of the presence of love. Can I tell you something I haven't told anybody out west? I can't marry here, because I'm already married. I've a husband, if you can believe it. Michael, I had to come to the west, and he had to stay behind. But I remain faithful, in my way. Do you miss him? Every day. You know who else I miss? Brandy of the Damned. I haven't seen my horse in so long. Let's surprise her and Lovage with some parsnips. She likes parsnips. Not carrots. Not really a cup of coffee. He's the bachelor with a love you can Cow Children, The Bachelor Affair by Ben Swithin. With Steve Allen as Franklin Martyr and Faye Sunflower as Skunk Boy. Also featuring Chris Mowat as J. Tiffany Theophilus, Ben Swithin as Dr. Pagliacci, Angus Gowdy as Admiral John Misney, and the voices of Stuart Bryant, Michael Friend, Tim Packer, and Charlotte Creasy. The Bachelor of Love was sung by Sam Nicaresti. Cow Children will return on Pancake Day. Hello, it's Cow Children. And if you're listening to this on the day of release, and the day of release is your birthday, happy birthday! And if you're listening to this on the 3rd of February, the 3rd of February is your birthday, happy birthday! And if you're listening to this on the 4th of February, and the 4th of February is your birthday, happy birthday! And if you're listening to this on the 5th of February, and the 5th of February is your birthday, happy birthday! And if you're listening to this on the 6th of February, and the 6th of February is your birthday, happy birthday! And if you're listening to this on the 7th of February, and the 7th of February is your birthday, happy birthday to you now. Go and have a birthday. Or not. Because some people don't like celebrating birthdays. And it gives them nothing but stress and sorrow. Not because they don't like getting older. Just maybe they don't like being celebrated so much. I can I can get behind that. Um, so, whatever. Cow you be.